two things about Rovanka. You have two sides, funny enough. The main thing is I I'd like for all of you to avoid playing if you want damage and if you want reliability in randoms is avoid everything that is below or next to this line to the left. Just avoid this outright in randoms. Why? Because when you see teams completely stacking the 1-2 line from either side, but this is more common from south, what you end up having is you have guys like sitting here, 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 here. This literally gives you no map control at all. What basically happens is your, your team tries to push here, right? They try to overwhelm the enemy's heavy tanks. But they just simply cannot do that because these guys have support from here, from here, from back here, from back here. And this is very hard to over push, right? So you generally want to avoid doing that. You generally want to avoid going here. Very, un very unreliable in terms of damage. Very unreliable in terms of damage. And if you absolutely have to because your team is completely committing on the 1-2 line, the only position you can consider is up here. Why? Because you can shoot these guys if they get spotted. You can shoot from this position all this, all this here. And you can also try to shoot the middle and spot it for yourself. This is the only thing that you can do. This is like very rare scenario because nowadays people have realized, oh, we have to play the force. So avoid playing here. This is golden rule for this map. You want to play in the forest. Now, how do you play the forest? I'll show you first from north. You get your tank, mediums, heavies. Let's say you're playing a medium or a heavy tank. I I'm playing like the same with in all those tanks, right? You're playing a TD, you can kind of, kind of camp back there or whatever, or you can play aggressive if it's a two-rooted TD or here or whatever. I don't really play TD, so I'll show you how to play it with medium or heavies, how, how I play. So, you have a little bush here. You can knock down a tree here, right? You can go behind it, and there's a tiny gap here. And if you get here in time, you can spot the enemy's tanks that spawn here. And there's a tiny gap here, which you can actually use to spot people. You can also shoot double bush if you have enough kind of pressure. But you mainly want to use this tree because it's a bit more on the left and you kind of get some more more spotting uh, play, uh, place really here, right? This is just for the first two shots if like yeah, you're playing a batch, a projecto, 140, whatever. But the main reason or the main thing that what you're going to be doing here is either if you have a turret, you're going to be playing here on the bottom. You have to clear this house out because they, the people tend to rush there camp there and peek on the left or right side. So you have to clear this guy out. But most of the time you're gonna be sitting here and you're gonna be peeking into enemy Haldan tanks. Now, if there's triple RD or two RDs and you're playing tier 10, wait. Wait until you do this because then you're going to be the target for the RT for the entirety of the game unless you go down. Wait until the RD targets somebody else. I don't know, some guy peeking here, here. Or some guy that has committed here or here, whatever. Just, just, just wait a bit. It's better. It's better if you wait a bit in the beginning. But yeah, you generally don't want to trade against these guys like with the cupola shots and all that. If you're not playing a heavy tank or anything with good turret armor, you want to play here. Why here? Because you have a ridge line here that protects you from the one two. Uh, sorry, the K line over here. And if you have gun pressure, you can peek into those heavies that are peeking your heavies right there. You can give them a one or two side shots until they realize that oh you're actually there you're 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 posing a threat to them you know so after that let's say in an ideal situation you work down these guys here right what do you do after that the maximum point that you can go is here why because this here is complete flat ground you have the occasional hills on the right here but these are completely and utterly useless. Why? Because people can sit there. They can literally sit in the rotor, hold down, unspot it, and they can farm you all the way when you just cross there. You cannot simply push the zero line on this map from this side. This is a suicide. So don't attempt to do that. Like there are so many retarded positions here. Unless you're sure that you can win this, like you have 
say four or five guys already pushing here you can first of all aim for them uh, in case they spot some camping td or whatever you can shoot and after that you can fall back or even push with them if the if the hp is is uh favorable to your team now most of the time you can't push this though because they are just bunker camping with their tds what you have to do in that case is look at this one to line look at the minimap see how the fight is evolving if the fight you see is like in a stalemate you can push through the middle but even with a heavy tank but most mostly with a medium tank you can push through the middle you go like this you try to hide behind these houses because these positions are very very good in spotting the middle house you want to take an approach like this and then you want to wiggle your tank left and right and hope that you won't get spotted after that you get up here this ridge line and by this time that you're already up here the game should be won because from this position you don't want to pick on the left here if you peek from the left here this is not good look at the look at the elevation of the terrain here you're not gonna be hold down towards this right this is the biggest thing you want to peek here on the right because you're gonna be hold down towards the one two line tds and you can shoot them and you can spot them and you can get a lot of spotting damage make sure this this is cleaned out first like you can go on the corner here make sure that you don't get peeked from the back because those bushes are really like favorable for that that side make sure you clear this out first you generally want to play on the on on here if if you cannot push this around anymore and if you if you can play here and you can do a lot of damage the game should be won already now on to this next side on to the next side actually as i said you generally want to avoid playing on the one two you don't want to get yourself encircled and get yourself stuck in a position where you just cannot leave and cannot do damage right so you spawn here important thing to do is cross like this at least because if you cross like this then you are highly susceptible to the position that i actually showed basically you can get spotted by a light tank and you can get farmed you want to cross like this because here you obviously have this protected ridge line right in the in the beginning from this side you have the ability to stop behind this bush here why two things one you can shoot this scout that is spotting there you can give him like a lucky shot or whatever and you want to generally stop here because this side the the south side is very easily pushable as i showed you like it's, it's very easy to get into this hole down here right here right there and it is very easy to get pushed here and, and overwhelmed so you want to camp a bit in the beginning you want to make sure that you have enough tanks committed so you won't get yolo outright completely say like two three tanks is enough right if you don't have like if you only have one tank here don't bother to go there because you should you, you're gonna get yolo rush because already it's gonna work people down you're just you're just gonna have to stay here and live live with it and you can farm a lot of damage because they're going to be picking on this one or two guy and you can profit and after that they can push you you can't really run from this position though unfortunately unless you're like you're like a fast medium thing you can always attempt to go through the red line and then away make sure that you go as next to the red line as possible because obviously range matters and this is what you should be aiming for in general um basically how you play aggressive you have when you have three four tanks here that are committed already you can go up there from your camping position here you can go up here important here this one spot why one it's very it's very rare that you can knock this tree down to the left side or the right side you can do it with he which i never do in randoms because it's just way too inconvenient but you can knock this round to the right side and you can double bush this and this is going to be your biggest friend this one bush here if you have enough gun depression you can peek over there and shoot those campers you can also 
Cupola snipe this guy that is speaking there, but if you don't have enough gun depression, you can play on the left here, which is gonna give you a slightly better angle on the on here, but it's gonna expose you a bit more to this guy if he peeks. So you have to be careful. But you, if you peek like this, you have to make sure that there's no TDs here that can that can harm you. Like there can be TDs there, but like I'm talking 1k plus alpha, like Yak Panzer, FTD, whatever. Right? You can shoot this guy peeking like this. If there is no already and you're sure that you have good turret armor, you can play on the bottom here. But you have to make sure that you're you don't overexpose yourself to here, to this position, right? You see the red line goes like this. If you peek like this already, you already are exposed because they can just camp there and they can they can already shoot you. So But yeah, the the, the, the it's generally the same. Like you try to work this guy down from up here, from down here, whatever works for you. This is situational. When you succeed you can push. You can push the zero line from this side. But first of all, you gotta go here fast, as fast as you can, behind this ridge line. See, this this protects you from this. You gotta be behind this ridge line first. You peek up here to the left, you're safe from this. You try to clear this out first. Why? Because if you push the zero line and this is not cleared out first, you're gonna you're gonna stretch your line super thin. And they can just cut you in half if they're smart. So, you gotta clear this out first. If this is cleared out, you can continue carefully, I repeat carefully pushing here, because there are three positions here. Sorry, four. One, two, three, four. Four bushes that, that are very popular among people. Um, if you're playing a fast tank, you can try to like wiggle your tank and get here as fast as possible. And after that, it's just gonna be a hold down fight. Like, you clear this out first, there, there, there are some occasions where people camp here, but this is not really that, that normal, so... You clear this out, and then you can proceed onto the 1-2 line. Basically... You wanna, you wanna aim to get here first, you don't wanna cross in the open, obviously, because they can have guys camping on the A line, back here. And you don't wanna do that, so you gotta cut through the middle once again, but from north but from like being safe on the north side so once again man you just go here go through here and then you get up here to this one house next to the water tower and after that the game should already be massively in your favor if they didn't lose the one two yet if you won one two yet and then you have really good map control you go up here you can peek you can spot those guys, you can try to shoot, you can also peek from here, which is a bit of better position, it's a bit more safe. I'll show you from here. You can also do that. And you can also peek from back here. Three positions that you can use. By this time the game should already be won. In case you manage to overpush the zero line, but your team loses one two, in that case, you have to be careful not to overextend. You still want to generally push the middle and try to get this ridge line control here, if you can, or even this one. But most of the time this is very risky and you don't want to do that. So uh, what I generally do, um, if I if you lose the 1-2 line from this side, I generally just wait a bit in the middle here. I wait because people can peek up there, they can make mistakes. You can also get to the left side here and shoot the middle. You can also shoot it from here. But you wanna, this is more reliable from the left here, so... Because you can see, like, this part. So you generally wanna wait it out a bit, shoot the middle... And after that the situation is gonna present itself and uh, opportunities are gonna come up, so you gotta use that. That's basically how I play and how I would advise you to play Morobanka. Nice.